students. So here, uh, I am Mr. Babika Borma, Assistant Professor, Assam Downtown University, Guwahati, Department of Pharmaceutical Science. So here I will be discussing about the procedure, how to determine the stromatal index. So here is the procedure. So preparation of lamina, first of all. We have to take a mature leaf. If the leaf is small, the whole leaf may be taken. And if this leaf is large, then we have to cut 5 mm square pieces from the middle portion between the lamina and the midrib. So in case of fresh leaf, first of all, we have to take sometimes the epidermis can be easily peeled off in thick leaves by breaking it into pieces by shearing action. Then separate the epidermis and treat with, with chloral hydrate. Then secondly, cut a number of 5 mm pieces from the middle portion between the lamina and midrib. Thirdly, boil with chloral hydrate in a test tube, then place in water bath. The epidermis separates out. Then carefully place the epidermis on a slide with the help of a brush along with 1 to 2 drops of chloral hydrate. Then cool and then place a cover glass. Or we can do, we can prepare an imprint of the epidermis. Take a little piece of gelatin gel that is 50% with the help of a needle. Then smear it on a hot slide. Place a fresh leaf and slightly press the leaf. Invert the slide and cool it under a water tap till the gel is solidified. Then the leaf is removed. This leaves an imprint of the stomata and epidermal cells on the gel. Then trace the epidermal cells and stomata with the help of camera lucida. In case of dry leaf, first of all we will heat the leaf with chloral hydrate in a test tube on a water bath for 30 minutes. Then cut the leaf into two pieces. Observe under a microscope to see whether the stomata are present on both surfaces or one. Then place the clear leaf with the veins facing down. Then the upper epidermis will be visible. Place the other half with veins facing upwards. Then the lower epidermis will be visible. Then add two drops of glycerin and place a cover glass. Level the slides as upper and lower and trace the epidermal cells and stomata. If the leaf is too thick and dark, then separate the epidermis as given below. First of all, we will clear the leaf with chloral hydrate as given in step number 1. Cut the leaf into two halves. Then place one half with the upper surface facing downwards. Then carefully scrape off the upper tissue with the edge of a razor blade without disturbing upper epidermis. Then clean it with a brush dipped in chloral hydrate solution. Then in the fourth case, the layer of cells remaining on the upper epidermis, it is turned the layer upside to trace the cells. Then we will repeat the same procedure with the second half. This time, placing the lower surface facing downwards, proceed as given in step number 3 and 4. So, uh, lastly, usually the herbs and small shrubs have stomata on both surfaces. In three species, stomata are present on the lower surface. More stomata are present on the lower surface in dorsiventral leaf, almost the same number in isobilateral leaf. So tracing of the cells, how it can be done, I will just go to explain. That is, first of all, we will have to draw a square of about 8 to 10 cm square on a drawing sheet or any unit area. Then place the prepared slide on the stage of the microscope. Then focus epidermal cells and the stomata first with 10 into 10 and later focus with 10 into 40 or 10 into 20. With the help of camera lucida, trace the stomata and the epidermal cells in the square. Trace epidermal cells and the stomata outside the square to completion on two adjacent sides of the square for, continuing pur for counting purpose. Then we will have to number the complete epidermal cells and the stomata within the square. Then continue numbering the cells that are more than half on two adjacent sides. So this was the procedure regarding how we will calculate the, or uh, not calculate, how we will determine the stomatal index by the different processes, first of all for the fresh leaf and then for the dry leaf. So in my next video I will be discussing about how uh, the stomatal index is being calculated. Thank you.